Only 3,605 pounds, an extremely lightweight little flagstaff bunkhouse, no slide front walk around bed. Coming in on trade here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This was the small family bunkhouse camper until they swapped up to a big old Cougar triple slide. Now, inevitably, as a Rockwood dealer, with Rockwood and Flagstaff being sister clone brands, the only difference really being the decals, um, I'm probably going to end up calling this a Rockwood at some point. Just remember, it's basically the same thing. Not basically, it is the same thing. So if I use the wrong word, don't get too worked up over it. And overall, my impression of this has been pretty good as I go through it. Used, but not abused. You know, it kind of reminds me of the kind of normal wear and tear and use that, say, a vehicle of this many years would endure. And overall, I think it, everything I see in, in terms of any usage or ownership, it looks appropriate, and none of it looks harsh. Uh, it's carpetless, it's easy cleaning, and it actually has a pretty good amount of storage. This is more of a camper than an RV or a glamper, if that makes sense. And what I mean is, it's a little more simple and basic, like, it's made for sleeping and eating, and other than that, get your backside outside. That's kind of what this one's all about. The uh, cabinet doors are all a raised panel hardwood, which is uh, something you don't usually find in lighter weight trailers, because it does weigh a little bit. But I like the combination where you do have hanging closets and open side stands, so you have storage and uh, non-claustrophobia kind of things. And there are household outlets on uh, the both ends of each side stand. I also noticed the previous owners had changed out all of the shades to something where you just have like a little drawstring to raise these up and lower them down. So, uh, they, and they do that throughout. That's, the, the, those things actually add up. That's quite a bit of money that they probably invested there. We've got our walk around front. This is a camp queen, but if you notice, there's plenty of room for a true queen. Additionally, if you flip that thing up, you can see that there's great storage below it. This is something this factory is really well known for. They still do it today. Almost like a storage chest on top with dresser drawers below. Now, a couple little odds and ends left behind by the previous owners that they didn't need in their new Cougar, like a waste basket here and there, but you folks don't want those things, eh, get rid of them. Now, I've got the shade drawn currently, but you'll see when we go outside, that is a full front viewing window. Not to mention you've got cross breeze windows. I'm tripping on the power cord over here that I didn't realize was right there. The good news is, folks, the power cord's here. And we've got a vent above the bed for light and airflow. Good window size over here, too. Now, the kitchen is simple, but it is effective. I think you're going to use it mostly for like a little bit of cooking, and then you're probably going to do most of your eating outside, although, you know, you got that dining table over there. Um, if we, uh, let's see, where do we want to go? Let's, let's go down here. That is an egress window overlooking the kitchen, by the way. And if we open all that up and take a look, we can see that there's a countertop extension, uh, drawers there for our fork, spoons, and knives, and then something that's uh, I, I kind of miss in these smaller campers, no oven. Instead, we're getting a huge chunk of storage. And the newer models from this family of camper, they actually force an oven into the build. I kind of preferred the days when that oven was optional. I know there's some folks who's like, eh, I really prefer an oven. I get that. There's plenty of campers that have them. I liked that we had one option without ovens, though. Um, it is pretty much a one-room camper, so it's not a centralized air unit, but it is a 13,500 BTU air unit. Also, this is a super... Uh, like sturdy walk on roof the whole darn thing you know you can pound all over this it's a six-sided laminated aluminum frame trailer so the front the rear walls the side walls the roof the floor all just like that and here's a way to think about this because it's nice and cool in here compared to outside right now so if you folks grab a scalding hot cup of coffee and the coffee cup's only you know that thick or whatever it's probably not even that thick it doesn't burn your hand does it now imagine if the coffee cup was like two and a half to three and a half inches. That's kind of what we've got. We've got like a, you know, a, a extra thick coffee cup wrapped all around us here. The TV can pivot out for easy viewing, as you're clearly seeing. Bluetooth DVD player behind that and a nice big campsite viewing window. That is something uh, a lot of folks really, really enjoy seeing. Now down here, our four-person dinette, because it's a full eight-wide camper, so that is a full four-person dinette. A little tight for four adults, but you could make it work, especially if you know one another. But if we get that table out of the way and take a look, you can see a couple things. There's a power outlet hidden under there, which is nice for phone chargers, not to mention the fact 
that you've got a storage drawer and door on your dinette for easy storage access. And did you notice the all aluminum framework that actually went into that? That's just kind of one of those Rockwood doing Rockwood. There it is. I knew I'd do it. I knew I'd call this thing a Rockwood at some point. But anyway, you get the idea. Uh, lots of aluminum work. Now over here, below that bunk, there's storage that actually does pass through outside. Not to mention as we work our way up this uh, closet pantry removable adjustable shelf combo, we see hanging storage in there. And note the ladder there in the bunk so you don't have to throw the kids to the upper bed. Now uh, our fridge is over here in the corner. That's you know, I don't think I need to talk too much about that, but this is a little detail work. I like this is the Flappy Doodle 9000, and it is a code. Actually, you do have to do that twice. That's that's the rules. Maybe three times if you're a cat. But they do little stuff like that so that the door handle is not going to smash into the refrigerator door. Just little simple things make such a big, big difference. Foot flush stool in here. Pretty good leg room, yeah, even for a bigger person like me. But something else I liked was the counter space. Small bathrooms don't usually get good counter space. You see the shower surround paneling as well as that skylight directly in front of the shower head. Now it's a six and a half foot tall camper. It is a step up shower, but with that skylight, if you're taller like me, you'll be okay. One of the only, I guess you call it defects, is up here on the XL vent fan. It's actually pretty evident. They had pulled this screen down and cleaned it a couple times, which is a huge sign of good ownership. But apparently that screw right there got over tightened a little bit. That's like the worst thing I can find on this camper. That's the biggest defect I can find, guys. Now, other than the fact that they obviously had to tow it down something of a dirt road to get it here today and the front needs a hose bath. Outside looks pretty good. The skin is gleaming. The decals are not peeled and flaking. The tires are not weather checked. She looks all right. Um, if uh, you're interested in things like a power tongue jack, know that that's something that we can slap on here real quick and easy at Halet RV before you take it home. Our team can get you some figures on that. Uh, again, we are a six-sided, aluminum-framed, laminated product. Tinted windows helping keep the sunshine out. And one of the cool things here, this was made before this model became a Murphy bed, which it did happen in later years. But that also means that it's got itself a huge pass-through. Very nicely sized. Um, over here, you can see kind of some sheet panels hanging down. It's because, like, that's the water heater. This is a water pump. The RV's winterized, so those are exposed currently. They're not hidden away. Um, up there is the outside grill and the little side work shelf table thing that came with this RV when it was brand new is still in there. We'll get you a good look at the tires here since I talked about those. Again, skin decals, everything looking good, seals looking good, no weather checking on the tires. I like to look at that kind of wear and tear stuff for you. Previous owners left some odds and ends here because they're probably getting some new odds and ends with their new Cougar fifth wheel that they're taking home. I'm pretty sure you could, with the way that this has been well kept, you could probably get the same use out of it that they did where, you know, you could take your family camp in five, six, seven, eight years, have a good time, then swap it out for the couple's camper once the kids are gone and not have to do two or three changes in, in the in-between. Everything looks pretty good. Now, there's no ladder on the back. But I'm tall, and as long as you guys don't tell OSHA, I'm going to stand on that so you can see the roof. And I'm glad we got up here, because there's nothing I see that really concerns me. But taking a look at the seals, it is definitely, uh, it, it could definitely use a couple little spot touches, like right here. It's not exposed. It's not uh, leaking or anything, but you can see where some weather divots have started to phase around here. We're at, like, phase one of two of what you need to do on this. First, you just need to put a little touch-up bead down, clean it first, then put a touch-up bead down. After that, in another year or two, you probably want to do a full peel and reseal. But, I mean, you know, any... RV, any vehicle over time, requires care, maintenance, and upkeep. Overall, I think this RV has enjoyed what it's needed, and I think it's just approaching a time where it just needs a little more. Kind of like, hey, you know, you change the oil in your vehicle and eventually you change it again, or fluids, or whatever. Same sort of thing. Nothing I see here scares me. So, give us a call here at Halet RV. We do it all, hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.